Well, hi everybody, good morning to meteorologist Travis Klineski here on this Tuesday morning. We've got some lingering light moisture over southeast Nebraska, some very light rain. It's been trying to mix with snow at times, not much moisture though, it's just kind of damp. A lot of clouds still lingering, but we are seeing clearing in the north and the west. Winds are already breezy, especially for areas that have the clouds around, but these winds are going to get a lot stronger as the day goes on. Watch the arrows. Again, clearing skies. Look at these arrows pick up speed here. Gusts later today, 35 to 45 miles per hour. Some upper level clouds over the western third or so of the state of Nebraska. These will be not overcast by any means. You'll still see plenty of sunshine in here. And then more in the way of cumulus clouds, I think, here to the east as the day goes on. So kind of watch this. I'll back this up again. Again, we clear up the skies, but then here come some afternoon clouds. Central Nebraska is probably likely to see more sunshine. Winds will die down tonight, but they'll still be breezy overnight. Now, after today's gusts of 35 to 45 miles per hour, gusts tonight, 25, maybe as high as 30 miles per hour. So still a little brisk out there, especially in eastern Nebraska. Tomorrow, sunshine returns, maybe a few clouds off to the east. Another windy day. Not as windy, but still windy out there. Both tomorrow and today, temperatures comparable both days. will be very similar in each, on each day, as you're going to see in just a bit. Tomorrow night... The winds die down Wednesday night and a Thursday morning. We'll get a day with lighter winds on Thursday. You might be able to see it here. I don't have it drawn in, but weak high pressure right there. Clockwise rotation, slow clockwise rotation. High pressure usually keeps us clear, and it usually means lighter winds. That will be the case on Thursday. One of the better days we're going to see ahead of us here. Highs today. Four or 50s for most of us might see some lower 60s in southwestern areas and there's still snow on the ground so probably 40s here now o'neill i think most of the snow from last uh, the snow that we had i can't remember when it was now what early last week most of that snow's gone now so most of the snow that's still on the ground is right in here so i think that's where your coolest temperatures are going to be we might still get to 50 in o'neill we'll see but valentine had seven and a half inches of snow yesterday so Gonna be, it's going to take some time to melt it off there. Tonight's temperatures, 20s and 30s for overnight lows. Tomorrow, like I said, very similar to today. 40s in a few spots up north, 50s for most of us, 60s to the southwest and the west. As we'll start to see those temperatures budge up in the days ahead. Tomorrow night, once again, 20s and 30s for lows. And then we start to inch up a little bit. Thursday, like I said, I think for most of us, Thursday is the best day of weather. The winds will be a little bit breezy out here. But that's also going to mean warmer temperatures in the 60s to near 70s. Some of that milder air sneaks a little farther east Friday and Saturday. Let's take a look at the seven-day forecast for the Tri-Cities. And we're actually going to just cover these next three days first because I want to show you the long-range forecast models in just a bit. That's a look at, at the, again, the three days. Lots of sunshine after the clouds move out this morning. Very windy today, still pretty windy tomorrow, not as windy on Thursday, and it starts to warm up. North Platte, your three-day forecast right here. Again, fairly similar, a little warmer than the Tri-Cities, basically. And the winds tomorrow are not quite so bad. So show you the, let's show you the long-range models here. European model, pretty quiet once we get rid of this storm system here until, okay, Friday we'll start to see a few clouds. Then Saturday, look what's coming here. As we start to see showers and thunderstorms develop in the afternoon out west, and then those push east across the area Saturday night into Sunday morning. Severe weather is a possibility. Uh, and better chances maybe to our south down in Kansas and Oklahoma. But something we'll have to keep an eye on. And then that system kind of churns here over the middle part of the country. But if the low stays to our north, we could see dry weather once we get rid of that line of storms. So we'll back it up here Sunday morning. And then that line of storms moves on out. And we could be drying out after that. And not much active weather until maybe later on next week. We'll see. Maybe some more rain later in the week. But the GFS model is different. It has the low a little farther south. So, all right, GFS, quiet weather for the next several days as we get sunshine, and then Friday, a few more clouds. And then here comes that thunderstorm chance Sunday, maybe even developing in the morning out west, but then developing farther east into the afternoon. Showers, thunderstorms, maybe some severe weather into the evening hours. But look how much farther south the low is. That keeps moisture over our area, rain and snow. Now, Right now, I am not in agreement with this forecast model. The Canadian model is actually closer to the European model. So this one here, it's going to take a lot for me to buy into this one right now. So I don't think we'll see much of that rain or snow Sunday night into Monday or even beyond that here. And then after that, there's the moisture later in the week here. So let's take one more look at the uh, – we're going to jump ahead to the seven-day part of the forecast for the Tri-Cities. And again, you can see how we do warm up at the end of the week, but the winds return Friday and especially Saturday. Then comes the rain and thunderstorms Saturday afternoon into Saturday night. 
Some showers may be lingering into Sunday. I think the better chance of moisture is going to be much earlier in the day Sunday compared to later in the day. But we'll be a little bit cooler on the backside of that system here. Then after that, temperatures maybe try to warm back up a little bit after Monday back into the upper 50s and lower 60s. All right, let's jump ahead to the uh, North Platte look one more time here. I already showed you the three-day. Now, North Platte, you might have a better chance of thunderstorms by the noon hour or early afternoon on Saturday. So your afternoon chances are probably better than Saturday night. But some showers can't rule it out here if the GFS is right. But right now, I'd say your chances are looking much lower during the day on Sunday. Cooling down a little bit Sunday and Monday. And then after that, it starts to warm back up. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, we're back up into the upper 50s and lower 60s. A lot of that will be pending on rain chances as we get further into next week here. As you saw, there might be some rain later on next week here. So, all right, with that, that's all I have for you for today. I am off the next several days here. I will be back with you next Monday, or it might be cool again. <laughs> we'll see. So I hope you have a good rest of your week. Keep an eye on the forecast for the upcoming weekend in case severe weather becomes a threat. We'll see. I'm still a little up in the air on that right now here. But, uh, yeah, anyway, I'll be back with you on Monday with all the latest. Until then, take care. God bless. Bye.